So the next thing we're going to talk about is nutrition. Nutrition is a very important part of chiropractic. Um, my undergraduate degree is in nutrition, but I've learned a lot about clinical nutrition along, along the way. And if somebody's nutrition is bad, they're not going to hold their adjustments very well. The ligaments are not going to be healthy. The muscles are going to be very sore and painful. The bones are not going to be strong. So it's a really important part of, a part of care, and the people who pay the most attention to their nutrition definitely get the better results. I've even had the experience in the past sometimes where I'll go and do, do a talk in front of a group, uh, talk about nutrition, sign up some people for an evaluation. Sometimes they won't be able to come in for the evaluation for two, three weeks after the talk. And if they followed the guidelines already, sometimes they come in and a lot of their symptoms are already better before they even got uh, evaluated just from making some very basic changes to the nutrition. And um, one of the things that we, we don't realize is how our food has changed so dramatically in the last hundred years, especially the last 50 years, as, uh, as agriculture has been very um, industrialized, foods are packaged together, the soil is depleted. Sometimes you think you're eating a variety of different foods and you're really not. You're still eating a lot of the same food, just mushed mush into a different shape. If you read the packages, it's a lot of wheat, a lot of corn, a lot of um, corn products. And what happens is that um, we end up with a very narrow spectrum of, of nutrients that we start getting in and start developing deficiencies. So even though Americans are very, it's a very wealthy country, we're uh, very undernourished as a population. And sometimes, uh, sometimes you have the false sense of, well, I'm eating what my parents and my grandparents ate, but it's very different. The milk is very different. There's a lot of hormones in there. The meat is very different. Everything is different. So, so these days, to have good nutrition, a lot of times you have to supplement. So in the office, we use nutritional supplements. Um, we use food-based supplements because food is easy to absorb. We're designed to eat food. A lot of the supplements on the market are synthetic. They're very hard to break down. And sometimes when we take x-rays of people, we can actually see some of those undigested synthetic vitamin tablets in the abdominal cavity. So that's, uh, so that's very clear evidence that they're very hard to break down. Um, one of the examples of a patient in the office who got really great results with nutrition was a, was a young boy, um, eight, nine years old. He has uh, autism, um, a lot of different problems going on. Unfortunately, he lives uh, too far away to come in for regular adjustments. So we really emphasize that if he can't come in for the adjustments, he has to really work hard on the nutrition. And just by reducing the simple carb, the sugar intake, improving his vegetable intake, he had a dramatic reduction of, of, of symptoms symptoms, uh, much better focus, independence, he was having problems with uh, frequent urination, those symptoms went down, and that was just from a big shift in nutrition. Uh, nothing too complicated, mostly eliminating bad things, but it was very dramatic, and we see this a lot of times. We have another, another patient who lost about 50 pounds in just a few months by eliminating wheat, which um, turns out she had a little bit of a sensitivity to and wasn't even that aware of. So nutrition is a really important, important part of what we do here. Um, in addition to giving you things to do, like taking supplements, we also teach people what to do in their lives. And, and, and everybody's weaknesses and uh, vulnerabilities are different. It depends on your lifestyle, it depends on how you grew up, it depends on your genetics. Everyone is not the same, so you can't use a cookie cutter approach to health.